Your plan, your future. But the easiest way to fail is a life without a plan. The easiest way to be at the bad side of destiny is to have a life without a plan. Is to have a life without a framework. Is to have a life without you not having material evidence, architectural plan. You can never survive the litmus test of time. Without not having a plan. To everything on earth there is a plan. God created the heavens and earth using seven days. First day there was a plan. Second day there was a plan. Third day there was a plan. So planning is life. Planning is living. Planning is the oxygen to your next level. That this morning, if you want to have a future, you have to plan your future. The future, don't let the future just come. Plan to plan to meet. Plan. So as when you get into your future, you will not be begging people for bread and butter. When you get into your future, you will not be little, your children will not be little. And you will not be blaming everybody as the reason why you have not done well. The successful man you are seeing, yes, the he has planned his success. The successful man you are jealous. Yesterday, slept few minutes. Whilst you were sleeping, and there is nothing like magical. There is nothing like luck. There is nothing like that. Nobody was, was just released on earth and the person began one day and the person began. Everything is about planning. Everybody want to go to America. Yes, we all want to go to America. We all want to go to UK. Whatever. They because this country that planned their country. Jesus. When you plan your life, you plan your life becomes attractive. When you plan your life, your life becomes the same. You hear me? When you plan your life, you go ahead of others. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you plan your future. A planless life is a futureless life. Consider this. Always God first. In planning your life. Joshua 24 verse 15. Joshua chapter it says, as for me and my house, mm. it is God forever. First God. God first. God first. Righteousness first. Holiness mm. first. Loving your neighbor as yourself. Mm. Leaving the precept and the value and the conditionality of the scripture first. Who is righteous? When we say somebody is righteous, then righteousness is not the activity or the propensity or character of doing well. Righteousness simply knows, means you know the Lord. Righteousness. Doing good does not make you, doing good does not make you righteous. Doing bad does not make you righteous. Righteousness is the full knowledge of Christ. I work to take it together. So the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, it says, if anybody glory, let him glory that he knows me. And the Bible says in Romans, it says that the anybody that knows me shall go to heaven. And so all that you have to do is that you know the Lord. How, how do you know the Lord? You, you know, know the Lord me. by studying his word. You know the Lord by knowing him yourself. The second one is investment. If you don't invest, invest. And I'm not talking about spiritual investment. I'm talking about physical liquid investment. Investment. Save. If you don't save, your future will be miserable. Your future will be miserable. You don't have any gold. You don't have a gold nugget. But the phone you are using for now you so no. can buy a lot of gold nuggets. Every poor person is using iPhone. Every poor person is using the latest, the latest Samsung phone. And when you see those who are who are doing well, they are using the the mobile phones with that phone name. Now, without name. Anything. What an irony of life. Mm. What an irony of life. People that detect the future, they are using phone without, without a name. Without a name. Anything. Without a name. Anything. 
without the name. Anything. Are we together? Uh-huh. Hear me, child of God. Yeah, it is not good to have a zeal without knowledge. It is not good to pray without no saving. Yes, they have been laughing at the church. Yes, because we pray. Yeah, but we don't have evidence. We fast. Yeah, yeah, we don't have evidence. Are you here? Yes, sir.